Hi everyone, so I'm here at the Nursing Times Careers live event. How exciting. I'm going to show you around the building, show you what to expect from the day and hopefully encourage you to come to these amazing events if you're thinking about applying for jobs and what you can expect from the team here as well. So let's go. Really keen that the individuals have a what their purpose is in life and follow that purpose because have you have you I know it sounds a bit wacky but have a dream board I, I have a, on my phone yeah. all the time you know like if you want to have a house in the Caribbean if you want to go to the top of Everest if you want to have your own business whatever it is look at it and then have a think okay how am I going to achieve that mm. and then work backwards because then you wake up in the morning and every day is working towards yeah. that you have that purpose and therefore you know and I I am sounds bizarre but I now embrace yeah. failure if you call yeah. it failure simply because it's all learning mm. so the more you learn how not to do something yeah. you learn how to do it better absolutely and it's just, so it's none of it is absolutely changing your mindset and realizing that everything happens for a reason. I strongly believe there is a higher power up there, whether, whether you're religious or not religious, there is something beyond ourselves that gives us these lessons until we keep having the same lessons yeah. until we yeah. sort it out. Yeah. So, and I think, I think the my biggest tip is being aware of what's your stuff and what's other people's stuff. Sometimes we take other people's stuff upon ourselves. You know, unfortunately, bullying is far too rife within the workplace. And often we feel it's us, we've created that. Actually, 99.9% .9 of the time, if not 100% of the time, it's their stuff that they're impacting on us. So it's thinking of ways that you, what you can do for your own self-care to kind of almost look, put this body arm around ourselves to say, that's your stuff, not dealing with your stuff, let me step yeah. out and deal with my stuff. Um, and just not take everybody else's bad energy. Mm. And be aware of your own energy and your body language. Because if you if you if you have that empowered like body language stance and oh my god, this is great, it's amazing mm. how people respond to that. Um, so so be it your own your own teacher, yeah. I would say. Be your own teacher. Life is a learning journey, as we all hear that, you know, life's a journey, it absolutely is a journey. Um, and also look at people, surround yourself with the people that you aspire to be. Because if you surround yourself with people you aspire to be, you'll be surrounded by that positivity. And as we heard, you know, obviously our brain is wired for protection, but in the process of protection, it's often really negative. Don't do that, don't do that, yeah. don't do that. <laughs> well, actually, no, shut up. Yes, I am mm. going to do it. And action, 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 action is the biggest way to overcome fear. Because so many times we have various levels of fear that stop us doing what we know we should be yeah. doing. And actually having that first step of action Sometimes you need a coach. Sometimes yeah. you need somebody to just give you that support, gently hold you, take your hold your hand, not necessarily physically, but metaphorically, saying yes, you can do this. Yes, you are doing it. And you know, if you're not doing it, what's going on there to, that's preventing you doing it? And let's just just go through that path. Yeah. That's amazing. Thank you. Okay. Um, do you have like a blog site or anything like that? Yeah, I've got I've got my own website. Uh, and you know I can um, so my business is Release Your Potential Limited okay. and my website is rypotential.co.uk okay. um, so I can you. put the link below yes yes oh, thank you so much so thank you so much to Lizzie for joining us yeah, and taking the time out thank Fantastic. you she's so empowering it's great <laughs> please go and check her website out it'd be amazing thank you thanks very much <laughs> so we have just realised today that our 
prizes. So we have to basically go around to the stores and we get the code from every single store. You have to scan your badge as well and you can be entered into a £500 holiday voucher draw. So I'm going on a mad dash before the um, submission is. The submission is quarter past 12. So I've got 30 minutes to get this in and hopefully we're going to do it in time. Fingers crossed guys. Times Award uh, in 2014 and 2017 and what I do is I look at how actually digital is a really key part of nursing now so people often believe that actually you know nursing aren't meant to get involved in IT or IT and healthcare is all about electronic patient records and IT and healthcare is so much more than that and it's such a huge part from when you're a student all the way through to the most experienced of nurses. So we look at supporting nurses to understand how we can get involved in digital, so partly from within the NHS, so how you can get involved in bringing digital into your service to make big changes uh, in patient care through just really easy little movements in digital, all the way through to having the company um, where we help nurses who have really innovative ideas access funding or we partner them up with other app companies or media companies to bring their really innovative digital ideas into the mainstream and, and make them accessible to everyone. It's amazing. things so we've got a content session where they get to hear from inspiring um, speakers about what they can expect in their later career and part of that we also have a student reception um, so they get to hear from usually students who might have won a nursing times award or have done something uh, particularly innovative that has been um, highlighted on social media for example something like that so you get to ask them questions on how they did that and how they got to where they are. Um, also we have lots of stands from potential employers um, so it might give you an idea of maybe what area you might want to work in or what part of the country you might want to work in later on um, and all sorts of other things as well going on um, just to make the day um, sort of interesting as possible for you basically. Yeah. Do you do a lot of blogging and stuff as well online? Obviously tweets that you're looking for bloggers. If someone, any student nurses or being qualified nurses are looking to blog, how can they sort of do that? Do you know? Well, that's a really, really easy one. Essentially, you just email me at steve.ford at emap.com uh, or send me a direct message on Twitter or however you want to contact me. Um, and yeah, we'll just talk about, um, you can pitch your angle and say, I want to write about my particular experience with this or, or you want to do a more regular thing or you just want to write something, we can talk about ideas. But yeah, absolutely, take a, take your ideas from um, registered nurses, student nurses, nursing associates, we're interested basically to get your views because that's what makes our sort of our website and our brand sort of come alive with the views from the front line. Thank you. So I am back home from the amazing Nursing Times Careers Live event. Oh my god, what a day. It's been fantastic. So just I wanted to 
say to you if you are looking at going to these events if you've never been to these events before please 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 go it doesn't matter what year you're in whether it's first year second year third year it's well worth going to these events early on so you can network you can meet people get your face seen get your name out there also to see the amazing guest speakers that they have on is fantastic, well worth seeing that as well. You get free lunch, free prizes, there's so much to do and see, it's fantastic. And there's people, there's trusts from all over. So there was like Devon, there was Plymouth, there was Taunton, there was Birmingham, Wolverhampton, Warsaw, all of those. And it was just amazing to see and a lot of places now are offering relocation packages, which I did not know, but I do now. So if you're looking to move area, ask or find out about their relocation packages that they do, because some are offering up to 8,000 pounds. I know. It's well worth looking into that. And it's just, it's it was just an amazing day. Some places had application forms, so you could fill out the application form there and then, be interviewed there and then, and get a job there and then. So this is probably more for, third years because I don't think they would employ from first year and then wait two years I'm not too sure 100% don't quote me on that but I'm assuming that this is for third years that are about to qualify maybe even coming to the end of second year but it's still well worth going out there having a look at the trusts speaking to people finding out more what you want to do what you're interested in what location you want to be in it's just fantastic so my advice to you is go I'm going to leave the links below for the next events. There is the Manchester one and the London one coming up. Please take a look at those and go to those if they are near you. Well worth going. And yeah, so that is it from me. I'm exhausted and I shall see you next time.